Hi guys, John from WorkshopAddict.com. We're here at the Milwaukee New Product Symposium 2015. We're getting ready to start breaking off into our sessions and checking out all the different new tools that they've got out. And so stick with us and we're gonna see what they got. Hey everyone, we're here with Bill, Assistant Product Manager for the M18 line. We're gonna talk about their um, M18 fuel grinders, the new ones this year. They got some cool features to it, so tell us about them, Bill. Thanks, John. Uh, really, the next evolutionary step in cordless grinding is here with the M18 fuel braking grinder. So what separates it apart from the grinders that we released a couple of years ago is we've added a braking feature to the tool that's gonna to stop all major accessories in under two seconds. So that's gonna add in job site safety and time saving. Right, so specifically what a brake does, the simplest way to explain it is it's just, it's stopping the accessory that's attached to the tool uh -huh. extremely quickly. So this one that's attached right now, a five inch grinding disc, we're gonna stop that in about a second and a half. So what that does for the end user is, uh, here, let me put these on. Safety first, right? Yes, sir. So pretend I'm finishing up on my pipe and I'm gonna move on to the next job. So I'll quick do a, a demonstration for you. As I'm putting that tool down, the rapid stop brake that's incorporated into this tool is slowing that wheel to a complete stop very, very quickly. So obviously, you know, if I'm a guy who's going from his material onto the next job dozens and dozens of times a day, I can be putting that tool down knowing that by the time it's hitting the table, it's stopped or nearly stopped uh, completely. What that really does is, yeah, it allows me not to have to stand here and wait, mm. but it also reduces the risk that when I put the tool down on the table, it's still operating at maximum RPMs and thus it can take off yeah. or kick around on a just kind of an awkward fashion on you where you're doing one of these things as yeah. you pull back real quick. Yeah, I know on the job site and, and using these in the past myself, when you get done with it, you have to wait for it to stop. Or if you're impatient, you set it down. It can be an accident waiting to happen. I've seen a lot of accidents with grinders. And yeah, absolutely. Everybody's got their war story, right? Oh, yeah. As we go out across the country and we're talking to guys using tools like this, everybody has that war story. So we saw the need to evolve our, uh, our product to the next level. And by the way, because it's operated off of a battery, we're also getting rid of one of the most common tripping hazards on the job site as well, being the cord that's usually attached to these yeah. grinders. I know a lot of times on the workforces, work jobs, sites now, that if they're on scaffolding or working from heights, their tools either have to have lanyards on them, which then you have the cord hanging to the floor, and it becomes a pretty cumbersome work site. It's a, it's a pretty big nuisance, right? Especially yeah. when you're up in the air and that cord's flapping around as the wind blows yep. and things like that. It's, We've heard from people across the country that this kind of technology, while it might not replace every single corded grinder on the site, it's gonna go a long way to being able to increase productivity in situations exactly like that. I know industry and people and larger job sites, they're concerned with their, not only their lost time injuries, mm -hmm. but their um, OSHA recordable incidents. Absolutely. And anytime you can reduce that, it's a big thing for the companies now. Yeah, absolutely. Any step that they can take is gonna help them not only keep their guys coming back to the site, yep. but it keeps their scores lower so they can bid out more effectively to larger jobs in the future and really help grow their business. It basically keeps everybody working there. That's exact. that's the end game, right? Yep. We want people to show up to work the next day. Yep. Anything else about this that's new? Um, the next new piece about it, I guess we could talk a little bit about the nut that we're including on this one. So different than uh, what we've included on our grinders before. This is a fixed tech nut, and uh, really what it does is allows this tool to continue to be a 100% tool-free tool. Free tool. Uh, Great. When you incorporate a brake into a tool like a grinder and you're slowing that disc down faster, you need a little bit of extra oomph to make sure that it's locked tight. So what this does, it actually has a little tab on the side of it that flips up, and that allows you to use the force from that tab to loosen or tighten your disc, be it grinding, cutting, flap disc, whatever, uh, without the use of any of the uh, included wrenches in different products. One more spanner wrench, quicker change. Well, you lose it two seconds out of the box anyway, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> you know where the box is at, so at least now you can keep going and not have to slow down. That's what it's all about. We yeah. want to keep people moving, we want to keep people productive out on the job site. Great, well thanks, Bill. 
I hope you like this. Um, if you're interested or you're looking for a grinder, go out and check out the Fuel M8, M18 line. Um, they should be in the stores. We're shipping in July. July, so you should be able to see them pretty soon. Talk to you later.